18, 2001, Congress enacted the authorization for the use of military force, which empowered the President to use all necessary and appropriate force against those nations, organizations, or persons he determines planned, authorized, committed, or aided the terrorist attacks in order to prevent any future acts of international terrorism against the United States. Section 1021 of the Fiscal Year 2012 National Defense Authorization Act reaffirms the President's authority to detain so-called enemy combatants by affirming that the authority of the President to use all necessary and appropriate force pursuant to the authorization for use of military force includes the authority for the, United, for the Armed Forces of the United States to detain covered persons pending disposition under the law of war. A number of members from both sides of the aisle have expressed extreme discomfort that e and even outrage at the notion that a United States citizen apprehended on United States soil can potentially be held indefinitely under this act. To that end, I supported an amendment to the fiscal year 2013 National Defense Authorization Act that reaffirmed the ability of the writ of habeas corpus for availability of the writ of habeas corpus for any purpose person detained in the United States pursuant to the 2001 AUMF or the fiscal year 2012 NDAA. While this provision was a step in the right direction, many would view the current habeas proceedings as unfair to the petitioner. For instance, the, governor and the government enjoys a rebuttable presumption that, is evidence, that its evidence is accurate and authentic, and it must only prove its case by a preponderance of the evidence. To most Americans, this would not seem to be a fair fight. For United States citizens, the burden should be on the government to prove that the detainee is an enemy belligerent. U.S. citizens should not be put in a position to prove that they are not a terrorist. Today, with this amendment, I want to make clear that nothing in the AUMF or the fiscal year 2012